So hello guys, welcome in our next video. Nice uh, to have you here. Today we would like uh, to show you how to repair the Cordrill of Hilti DD350 and uh, yeah which uh, tools you need and uh, which parts we will uh, repair or replace. So uh, I want to show you the spare parts. The first thing uh, it's a big uh, electronic unit of the DD350. Then the switch electronic, the small one, the green one, as you can see here with the buttons. So and uh, the last thing is the field, the starter. This we will replace too. Not in one video, but uh, we will show it to you. And this is the cover of the armature. This belongs uh, to this side here. Okay, so but now we will start to repair or replace the green electronic unit. So, okay, we will start with the uh, uh, switch electronic unit with this green one to replace it because this one is damaged and uh, the machine need, uh, needs a new one. So, the first step what you have to do is open this uh, four screws. Two on this side of the handle and uh, two screws on the other side. This is the first step we will do, okay? So now we take out the screws. One, two on one side and uh, I open already the, another, the second side. Three, four screws. Then uh, take, take away the handle. Okay, so, and the next, next step will be to open the cover of the connection cable or electricity cable and it's necessary to open also these four small screws. So now take away the screws and the cover. Be careful, there is a small black seal inside, do not lose it. And the very important thing is, as you can see here, we have to open open uh, this uh, cable screws, but remember the colors, do not mix it up. And now we also will open these two small screws. So I, I open the two screws of the fixator of the cable, then uh, we open this three screws of the connection connecting cable now push it push it away take out the electricity cable so and push it a little bit in into the machine inside because we have to open the cover and we need more space so we put the cable in the next step is to open these three screws, as you can see here, and take off the cover, this black one. So don't do not lose the screws because all screws are different. So this rubber protection belongs to the cover. The screws too. So the next step to take off the switch but turn it to the end and then pull it out and the next thing we have to open four screws of the cover this two three and there is a fourth on the other side so I will open it now this is open Turn the machine, or turn the drill, the core drill, it's a very nice machine of Hilti, and four, four screws you have to open to take off the cover. Do not mix up the screws please, be careful, okay? So, so now all four screws are open, the cable, the connecting cable, we push in in the cover 
and now we we have to take off the cover okay this big one the red one so. okay, there's some rubber there so now you can see here the big electronic unit and here inside you see the green one this we will replace okay can you see that I think it's okay good so okay and now we want to replace the green small switch electronic unit as, as uh, you remember so Necessary to open this eight screws one two three four five six seven eight Okay, one screw is not Opened but now so And as you can see here This is the damaged one and we will replace it with a new one So we will use this here So next next step this is the new one electronic switch unit we have to connect with this special cable so connect it at first so okay as you can see this is a special electronic cable with the connector be careful to connect it during the connection so and bring it in position in this way i will show you what is important as you can see you have to fix it between the black in the black frame right so now very important thing is use the rubber band because we have to fix it a little bit more in this black small frame and just only possible with the rubber rubber band and this is a small small trick how to fix the electronic unit so more now we can we will check it because this is important to fix it otherwise you have no chance to to tighten the red big cover so the small hole as you can see here bring it in this position because this is important later for the for the switch okay so as you can see here i fix it on the left side and i fix it on the right side next to the cover or screws so now push push the three connection cables a little bit inside in the electronic hole and now use the red cover and fix the red cover but very slowly take care of the three cables push it a little bit in the hole be careful now push it push it a little bit more and now it's important here not to damage the rubber the white the buttons during you are pushing the cover down as you can see all buttons are now out of the cover so now take the three cables out of the hole fully we can do it 
So, and the last one, it's here. So, one, two, three. Perfect. Next step, bring the screws in position and close them. But not too strong, just a little bit that we will fix this cover with the screws. Okay? One, two. So now I fix the screws of the red cover. One, two, three, and four on the other side. And also the eight small screws to fix the electronic unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So be careful, here's the spring, do not lose it, then the hole of the switch here must be in this direction, so and take the switch and push it on top, check it, yes it's working, perfect. So the next step is this rubber protection for the buttons, push it inside into the black cover and fix the black cover. So be careful, very very sensitive, very careful and then use this through screws, one, two, three and fix it. So we fixed, uh, I fixed now the three screws, one, two, three, check the switch, it's working, push the buttons, the rubber cover, it's in a nice, in good position, so. So now we fixed the screws, as in the beginning I told you, be careful how to connect the cables, the green to green, the blue to the blue one, the brown, and do not forget this black seal. This is uh, because of uh, the water. So, so. Now fix the cable with these two screws, take the cover and we we'll fix it with our four screws. So now we will check if the machine is working, it's running. So let's try it, switch on. So the electronic unit. Light net. So let's switch on here. Okay. It's getting slower, so it means it's working. This is for the steel. Also, the re reaction of the unit you can hear. Okay, and switch off. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. It's running. So, it was very successful now. So, the last thing you, you have to do is check all screws outside, tighten it a little bit more, fix it more. This four screws, this uh, main four cover screws, uh, this three, and the last thing, do not forget the handle. I think everybody can do it. I don't want to show it now anymore. These are just for screws. Fix it and you are finished. So now we are finished with our repair or with our uh, replacing electronic unit. Thank you so much for watching our video. Be free to subscribe to our channel and uh, we would appreciate to get some likes and comments from you and of course 
you can uh, visit our store at River Point Store. And looking forward to see you in our next video, which will come very soon. Thank you. Bye.